today mostly our session will be encompassing a lot of things uh, we'll be talking about what are the sustainability challenges in waste management uh, and then what is the impact that we have and also what are the actions uh, that we can take which can have a positive impact on the environment everything we will be discussing will be around you know waste management and plastics especially can you guess where this um, beach is located so the right answer is andaman and nicobar island Unfortunately this is not just the case in beach this is the same story in himalayas now why is this happening is because over the years the tourism has increased in uh, you know mountainous regions and as well as in the beaches the tourists are not conscious enough and thus plastic pollution is happening because often what happens is you know when we are traveling uh, we finish off our drinking water or some food packages and we just drop it on the road now what happens here is it gets accumulated in these areas every year india produces 9.25 million tons of plastic wastes which is 771 times of taj mahal 14 lakh 23076 times of qutub minar and 666 times of char minar so you can imagine the amount of plastics that we are generating every year Who do you think is responsible for this problem? Inefficient systems and policies, or implementation of laws, or gaps in infrastructure? It is because of all these problem is occurring at this large scale. But rather than you know just focusing on blaming the government or uh, saying that it's gap in infrastructure, we as citizens also can you know take up the leadership and bring a, bring in change. because it is you know a democratic country and we the people of india have a lot of power in our hands to bring in change how can we bring a change how can we start at our homes right so let's see at the journey of plastic what happens and in our homes what we do is you know whatever the types of waste that we have the dry waste the waste in the kitchen waste or the uh, plastic waste that we have we just throw it off you know in the garbage um, just like that without thinking now that is collected by the municipal corporation now since it is not segregated the plastic has lost its value or the waste that could have been recycled has completely lost its value so what happens is it cannot be segregated anymore and thus it ends up in the landfill from that landfill where does it travel it travels to the rivers and then to the seas and that is how you know an innocent sea turtle or any innocent animals that has no hand in plastic pollution gets affected even the fishes are consuming plastics the microplastics are you know entering the seas entering the soil and it is also entering the food chain and even though we do not know it you know that we are consuming plastics but since it is entering our food chain through you know uh, the seas the fishes are consuming it and the plants it's going to the soil we are indirectly consuming it as well you must have seen the vehicle collecting the plastic when all of this plastic has a lot of value if it is segregated but if you don't segregate that plastic now most of the plastic has no value at all all the plastic that reaches marine life it is all because of the neglected plastic and you know not taking the whole waste management part seriously which we have to take care of our you know plastic disposal habits and then slowly work on the reducing part because we are you know dumping all the plastics together in one bin and as a result just shown in the pre- previous slide what is the journey of the plastic it ends up in the you know seas and just lands where other animals are consuming so what can i do about it so this is where sustainability comes into play it's refused reduce reuse repurpose and recycle firstly refuse refuse using you know single uh, single use plastics like the plastic bags right the sustainability part over here is reuse repurpose and recycle how much plastic we use is also one of the biggest questions which is being asked when uh, india pledged to you know do away with uh, single use plastics by 2024 the government has planned to you know eliminate all single use plastics by 2024 so that's a huge task but do you think it's the task will be done just by the government by banning all types of plastic no it's it's not that way because once you start refusing or once you start you know reducing the use of plastic overall that will slowly you know slowly change 
and that's how you will be contributing towards sustainability but what happens is there are a lot of stakeholders involved let's say the government has its job they look at from policy level the companies uh, look at the efficiency of a product then they look at the shelf life of the product so they have that task to do but what we have is a very simple task we just have to segregate the waste and maybe we should try to avoid using plastics wherever it is not you know required so when we are going out there are few things which is always necessary first is keys wallets and mobile bags now what is the other thing that we can you know make a necessity is carrying a bag by taking a small bag with yourself or carrying a small bag with yourself can make a huge difference because change starts at home we cannot rule out the use of plastic from our lives but what we have to slowly do is we have to make sure that whatever plastic we use we have to dispose it and we have to know about it first of all that you know uh, so this is plastic and this has to be kept separately and this has to be given separately so that is the first exercise that we can start with when you want to eventually contribute towards uh, you know sustainability so you can start knowing about where where do you use your plastics basically you know which time of the day or in which tasks of the day do you use plastic and then you discard the plastic sustainability is nothing more than just being sensible enough the advantage that we have as indians is that our ancestors they have led a sustainable lifestyle like for example previously we used to get milk what used to happen is you know how we used to get milk in those kettles and that is how you contribute towards sustainability it is as simple as being responsible and sensible what can you do with your plastic drop the plastic at collection points near you and what else can you do is participate and create leaders for tomorrow there are a couple of things that can be done with the, you know recycled plastics firstly we can make different kinds of clothes with our t-shirts can be made with the, even a uh, ski jackets which uh, which we wear when we go to you know very cold areas here you can see in this slide that a pavement was made using plastics and uh, there's this uh, greenhouse which was made using plastic bottles as well these innovations are important because the road construction from plastic also started as something as an experiment where they're using plastic to you know construct the roads and the tiles that you see all the plastic which we think cannot be utilized nothing can be made out of it all the light type of plastic that is something that the, these people are actually doing like they're using all that you know low quality plastic and and making tiles out of it because of these tiles there are a lot of advantages first of all we are using uh, you know less raw material and we are using most more waste material and also they can be molded in the shape that we want so that's that's something which is very beautiful actually The good news is that we are taking care of Andamans. We saw the picture in our first slide that you know it the beach was all dirty with plastic waste, plastic bottles thrown in there. But we, the cycle had uh, taken the initiative, and we are making sure that the Andamans are kept clean. 